Hello everybody, today we will be going over a IB Math AISL geometry problem. So, here we have Peter. Peter has two water tanks with goldfish inside. The first tank, which is this guy here, is in the shape of a cylinder. I will circle this keyword, you should do the same when you do these problems, with diameter 40, which would be cutting across the circle here, so that whole guy here is 40, and height 45, which would be well, of course, the height. See? All right, cool beats. So that's for the first tank. The second tank, they tell us, is in the shape of a cuboid, another keyword, with the length 40, which will be this guy here, width 32, which is this guy here, and height 42, which is this guy here. All right, that's what the problem gives us. So we need to calculate the volume, giving your answer in centimeters cubed, correct the three significant figures for part A of the first water tank and the second water tank. Now, I circled keywords, right? Cylinder and cuboid. Let's work with that. Open up your formula booklet, see what you get. Volume of cylinder is up here. We have pi times r times h. See? Do I have pi? Do I have r? Do I have h? That's the question we must ask ourselves. Pi, what the heck is pi? Pi is a very long number. It's in your calculator. We have that. r, what the hell is r? We do not have r, so that's something we need to find. h, do we have h? Yes, we do. H is 45. How can we get R? What did the problem give us? The problem gave us the diameter. Let's talk a little bit about that. In a circle, the diameter cuts across the whole thing. See? So this whole guy is diameter, which in this case is 40. See? Now, what is this, however, from the middle to the side? This probably seems familiar. That is actually your radius. So this is R. Visually speaking, it looks like there's two R's over here. And you're absolutely correct. Diameter is the same as 2R. OK, let's use this. 40 equals 2R. Let's get R alone. Divide by 2, both sides. 40 divided by 2 is 20. 20 equals R. Bada bim, bada boom, now we have R. And we're good to go to use the formula. So plugging into the formula, you have V equals pi times R squared, which is 20, times H, which we said was 45. All right, cool. Using our calculator, let's see what we get. So pi is, da, 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 it's always a little hard to find for me. It's under the bottom clear times 20 squared times 45. We get that, see? So we have 56, give me one second, 548, point, blah, 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 66776. Now we need to turn this into three significant figures. Now significant figures when it's big numbers is relatively easy. So what you need to do is look at your first three units, which is this five, this six, and this five. And for the last guy in significant figures, for the last guy, you need to see if you round it up or down. That's all you have to do. For the So this is the last guy because it's up to three significant figures. One, two, three. So this last guy, do we round it up or down? It depends on the one that's next to it. See? The one that's next to it is a four. So if it's from one through four, uh, don't round. If it's 5 to 9, round. See? So in this case, we don't round because it's a 4, and we end up with the following number. Our volume is pretty much 5, 6, 5, and er the rest of the numbers turn to 0, so it's 0, 0, point zero, 0, if you want to, but that's redundant. We're just going to leave it like this. See? Don't forget your units, centimeters cubed. Okay. That's the volume of a cylinder. So that would be part A, part I. Uh-huh. Part A, part I is right there. Part A, part double I is with this formula here. See? So we need to do the same process. Always be organized. See? This time they are asking for length, width, and height. So go one by one. Do we have the length? It's right here. Do we have the width? It's right here. Do we have the height? It's right here. OK, let's plug in. So for this one, I will do it on the top right. So give me one second. 
Dun, da, da, da. All right, we plug in the length, which the problem gave us is 40. We're going to plug in the width, which the problem gave us is 32, and the height, which is 42. So all of this in our calculator will be 40 times 32 times 42. That number, 537, 60. Once again, three significant figures. One, two, three. We need to see if we round this guy. This guy compared to the one that's next to it, six. So in this case, it's not the case where we don't round. It's the case where we do round because it's from five to nine. It's a six. This turns into the following number. Five, three, eight. We round up and the rest of the numbers turn to zero. Centimeters cubed, don't forget the units. All right, awesome possum, that is part A. Part B, they tell us each goldfish requires 15,000 centimeters cubed of fresh water for a comfortable life. Calculate the number of goldfish Peter can safely put into his tanks. I will first show like a sort of common mistake that occurs when people approach this problem, see? So a common mistake that occurs here, and this is why context of problems matters so much, is that people do the following. They say, oh, okay, so I'm gonna add both of my volumes. Cierto? I'm gonna add um, my first volume, which is my first tank, cierto? plus my second volume. This is the amount of fresh water that I have. They end up with 11, zero, two, six, zero. They take this, they divide it by 15,000, which is the amount of fresh water that they need, cierto? And they end up with just about 7.3, see? Why is this a mistake? Take a minute, pause the video if you'd like, but think about why this might be a mistake. The thing is, these goldfish aren't living in one big tank. They are living in two big tanks. They are living in the cylinder and in the cube. And so what you actually have to do is see how many goldfish live in each of the tanks, how many fit in the cylinder, how many fit in the cuboid. He, down here below, you're assuming it's just one big tank, which is not the scenario, cierto? So again, context matters, context matters. So in this case, we're calculating the number of goldfish that Peter can safely put into his tanks. You do wanna take the 56,500 of the cylinder and divide it by 15K and see how many you can fit there, see? So for the cylinder, we can fit just about 3.7 goldfish. And you can't round up here, given the context, cierto? Because then one of your goldfish would not be living a, a comfortable life. The ones that you can for sure give a comfortable life are three goldfish, see? So again, context. This time, it's not that I'm rounding, it's that given the context, my answer has to be three goldfish for the cylinder. How many for the cuboid? Well, we take 53, 1,800 divided by 15K, see how many we get, right? Yeah, I, we get 3.5, right? Which again, we have to round down or given the context, our answer has to be three goldfish again. So in each of the containers, right? We get three goldfish. So in total, total amount of goldfish that safely can that Peter can safely put into his tanks is six goldfish, see? So just a quick recap of the problem. You wanna be organized with the formulas of cylinder and cuboid or volume in general, see? Of course, this looks nasty and no one has this memorized. That's why you have your formula booklet, get familiar with it and go by parts. You know, do you have pi, do you have r, do you have h? Which one are you missing? How can you get it? And then the procedure gets much more straightforward, see? In regards to part B, notice the context of the problem. Here that I have in yellow, you're assuming that it's one big tank, which is an incorrect assumption, see? So careful with the wording. Here the problem even tells you the goldfish Peter can safely put into his tanks. Now if, it's t if it, Peter tells you he gets one big tank and feels all the water into it, then it'd be the case in yellow, see? So careful with that.
careful with that. Context matters. The answer for part B is six goldfish. That is the problem. I hope it helped. And I'll see you around.